Hey, it's Clay. Welcome to another video. This is going to be the first video in a series uh, where I'm going to build a hi-fi tube-driven stereo amplifier. Kind of excited about this. I've built a number of tube amps before, but they've all been guitar-focused. This is going to be my first experiment into the hi-fi world, and I'm pretty, uh, pretty excited to see how that goes. I uh, currently have a hi-fi setup in my kind of study office room. I've got a tech Technics uh, receiver, solid state, and I run it into, into two overnight sensation desktop speakers. I've enjoyed that setup for a while. Uh, the music comes out of my computer into a Focusrite audio interface into that setup. Uh, but I'm really just kind of curious to see how uh, a tube amp would work in that kind of a system. And, uh, you know, I love tube amps, and I've built a number of them, and I think Hi-Fi is only a hop, skip, and a jump away from some of the guitar amps I've built, so it seems logical that I would give it a shot. Now, uh, to start off, I actually started this thread here on the TDPRI Shock Brothers over a year ago, or about a year ago, and got a lot of nice input. Uh, these guys have been great to help me learn how to build guitar amps, but I'm kind of trying to uh, transfer some of this over to the Hi-Fi world for those that are maybe guitar interested. Or maybe if you're a beginner, maybe this could help with that too. But I've got a couple of design ideas that I want to come across with. So first of all, I want to make this amp relatively simple and straightforward. So I'm looking more at like a single-ended, a little bit of a lower wattage amp, just intended for that kind of uh, desktop, near-field uh, setup. Not necessarily something that's going to be super high-end, but something that I think will hopefully sound really good and be quality, but also simple. Uh, second, I am going to use things that I'm a little more familiar with. So specifically, that means like tubes. I, I'm looking at probably 6v6s in the output. And I'd like to use some kind of 12A something 7 in the preamp. Uh, just because, again, those are tubes I'm more familiar with. And I've got some of those on hand in my stock already. And I'd like to make use of that. And then thirdly, what I also really want to try is making a printed circuit board from scratch using a program called Eagle. And uh, basically, I've come across it more in the world of pedals where you can design, if you, take, if you draw your schematic, you can transfer it over to a printed circuit board design that you design yourself, and you can send that as a computer file out to some factory in China or anywhere in the world, really, and they will make it for you and ship it to you. And it's it's relatively economical. It's not crazy expensive. So I'm going to try designing a PCB and uh, using that as my construction method instead of the like point-to-point -point stuff that I've done in the past or like a turret design or a eyelet design. I'm going to try to use PCB. So pretty excited about this project. Uh, let's go ahead and to start off with this video though, I'd like to dive into the circuit that I have come up with and uh, we'll kind of use that as our kicking off point. Okay, so to start off with, this is Eagle CAD, and uh, this is what I'm going to be using to draw the schematic and transfer it into a printed circuit board. Um, I'll do probably another video walking through each of those steps individually, but just kind of wanted to get you caught up on where I'm at. Um, this is the schematic. Now, one of the cool things about Eagle is it is really, really versatile. Uh, and sometimes it was a little bit overwhelming in terms of the learning curve, but you can make just about any kind of electronic circuit in Eagle. It has a very robust set of libraries and a big community of people that have used it. Uh, so this is my schematic that I drew. And uh, then from there, you can transfer that out and generate into a board. Now, this is a printed circuit board layout that I drew uh, from that schematic. And it's really neat because, uh, you know, you can see all these connections amongst the schematic. Well, all those connections exist here, and then you draw your traces. Uh, and it helps kind of guide you through and make sure that you haven't missed anything. And the other part about this is really cool. So first of all, with the schematic, you can run a check. It's called an electrical uh, design rules check. And so, for example, you can see um, if you made any errors. And so, you know, for example, it's telling me that I put something kind of weird here. Um, and, and if I need to fix that, I certainly can, right? So if you, if you uh, have a resistor that you put on your board, but you forgot to tie it to the next component that needs to be connected to, it'll, it'll give you that error message and it will fix it. Um, but then, you know, so it kind of helps kind of guide you through the process with the checks and balances. And then also when you make your board, you can run a design rules check. 
And so this Osh Park Design Rules, Osh Park is a, is a PCB manufacturer. And so I can use their factory rules and see down here it says no errors. So this is telling me that the way I've set out my PCB is something that is going to work with their manufacturing specifications uh, and should hopefully produce a successful board. So uh, very cool stuff. I think this is really, really exciting, and, and the possibilities are almost limitless as far as what you can create uh, if you can learn how to use this software and create some PCBs. So uh, very, very cool and exciting stuff. So if this is a project that you are interested in, uh, please go ahead and subscribe and follow down below. I will also be creating a playlist of videos that will have everything related to this project. So if you want to follow the way through, check out that playlist. If you have any suggestions, definitely please let me know. Um, and uh, I really appreciate you guys following along. If you have any thoughts or input, please let me down in the comment section below. And I'll talk to you guys again soon. Thanks. Bye.